10 Norton von the Wadden Island and Wind Farm Zone, or TNW, is located 56 kilometers off the north coast of the Netherlands. This wind farm zone covers approximately 120 square kilometers and is almost the size of Amsterdam city. It will accommodate 700 megawatts. Norwegian Geotechnical Institute together with SAN Geophysics was contracted by Netherlands Enterprise Agency to develop a quantitative integrated ground model that provides geotechnical design parameters for the complete 3D area. A broad suite of geophysical data were acquired by MMT at TNW. Those include multi-beam echo sounder, side scan sonar, magnetometer and various forms of seismic reflection data. A total of 106 locations were investigated by Fugro during the geotechnical survey. Consisting of, 89 locations with poor pressure CPT, 15 locations with seismic CPT, 25 with temperature CPT, 24 with poor pressure dissipation CPT, 50 with vibracore sampling, 38 with borehole sampling and 5 locations with geophysical logging. Soil samples taken from the boreholes were tested in laboratory, especially focusing on testing strength and stiffness of the soils. All soil parameters were calibrated to soil unit and CPT tip resistance to scale soil parameters using the results from CPTs. Here you see all 2D seismic lines shot in this area. There are almost 200 of them. We chose to illustrate only 10 of them in this visualization. The seismic reflection data were particularly important for building the geological ground model. It, along with Inomar sub-bottom profiler, included 2D and 3D ultra-high-resolution seismic data using a sparker source. Used in conjunction, these data provide extremely high-resolution imagery of the top few meters important for cable design and installation, and lower-resolution imagery of the top 150 meters below seafloor critical for foundation design. A series of six principal seismic facies boundaries were interpreted, each linked to a major geological event. These were subsequently subdivided into a series of sub facies that capture the geotechnical features within each of the units. Geophysical, geotechnical and biostratigraphic data led us to systematically develop the geological ground model for the study area. A sequence of six main geological units is defined. Pre-Elsterian is consisting of Yarmouth Roads formation sediments deposited in a deltaic environment. The unit consists mainly of dense sands with small clay layers and pockets embedded. Elsterian. Ice advance across the study area during the Elsterian eroded into the upper parts of the Yarmouth Roads formation, planing off the upper surface and carving a series of deep tunnel valleys aligned approximately north to south. The unit consists mainly of relatively fine-grained sediments in form of clay or as silty sands. Holsteinian and early Salian. After the retreat of the Elsterian ice sheet, sea level fluctuations created an unconformity that truncates the top of the Pila formation sediments in filling the tunnel valleys, above which sits a sequence of open marine sediments from the Ekman ground formation. The unit consists of silty sands with some clay pockets. Mid to late Salian. Ice advance across the steady area as part of the Salian glacial complex created erosional surface, with multiple lineations and a large glacial trough that covers the western third of the steady area. The unit consists mainly of medium dense to dense sands. Emian and early Weichselian. After the retreat of the Salian ice mass, a series of sea level oscillations punctuated the Emian and early Weichselian, resulting in two interpretable marine transgressive surfaces in the steady area. The unit forms an interlayered sequence of sands and clays. Holocene While the Weichselian maximum ice limit did not reach the steady area, the associated sea level fall and subsequent rise in the early Holocene created a marine transgressive surface with a complex system of channels filled with sediments. The units consist of very loose sands. NGI together with SAN Geophysics developed a quantitative integrated ground model. Synthetic CPT data were predicted using genetic algorithm for acoustic impedance inversion and artificial neural network for prediction of the CPT parameters using the seismic data and the geotechnical data as an input. When applying this combined inversion and machine learning workflow, comparison against blind trial shows excellent results, demonstrating the ability of the joint genetic algorithm and artificial neural network workflow to capture both large and small scale structures. 
The quantitative integrated ground model consists of the geotechnical design parameters for the entire 3D volume using the synthetic CPT prediction together with the geotechnical interpretation. The model allows the foundation designer to perform cost-optimized foundation design at any location within the wind farm zone. This ground model and methodologies behind it is a major step forward the continuous focus on decreasing the cost of energy and helping offshore wind energy in its continuous growth.